Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you using PHP how to delete the records from a remote database of PHP MyAdmin, which is MySQL with a checkbox control. I'm using Notepad++ for this example. Before writing the PHP code, let's log into my Bluehost database account. We'll check the table and the column names. I just logged into my PHP MyAdmin. I'm expanding the user database. I'm using EMP table for this example and in this EMP table contains two columns one is the ID and EMP name let's switch back to the coding part we'll write the code to delete the records with a checkbox control I'm back to the notepad plus plus I'm writing PHP code question mark PHP I'm closing the PHP code I'm creating a variables hostname, database name, username, and password. Dollar hostname is equals to localhost dollar db name wpchadbf underscore channel is my user database dollar username my username is wpchadvf underscore one two three dollar password and notice here in this password just for the security reasons I have not providing my real credentials but at the time of uploading this PHP file into my remote database I will change the real password dollar con is equals to mysqli underscore connect which takes four parameters these ones hostname username password And the last parameter is a DB name. Dollar DB name. If not dollar connection, if connection fail, I want to display a message connection fail. My SQL underscore connect underscore error method dollar query is equals to my SQL underscore query method takes two parameters. One is a connection, and the second one is a select statement select start from the table name is the EMP I'm creating the HTML element here I'm closing the HTML tag head closing head body Closing the body center center H one and the header I'm giving here H two form tag. I'm closing the form in this form the method is equals to post I'm creating a table in this form method border is one I'm closing the table tr th I'm closing the header 
employee name I'm closing the TR also I'm creating a while loop for that I'm using PHP code while dollar row is equal to my SQLI underscore fetch array this method takes the query this echo I'm creating a table to display the records echo td td dot dollar row between square brackets the column name I want to display is the employee name dot echo I'm closing the tier Closing this table inside a call between, between double quotes. After the form PHP my SQL underscore close method, which takes this connection string variable. And here one small correction, it's not double dollar, single dollar and here double quotes. Let's save this file, we'll upload this file into my remote database and we'll check on the browser this employee name details is displaying in this table or not. I'm uploading the file into my remote database under public underscore html folder, select file. file name is a multiple delete records.php this one let's copy this one we'll open this php file we check the records is displaying or not and the website name is wpcharan.com enter and here we got the employee name details now my aim is when a user wants to delete a particular employee name, for that I want to create a checkbox control on every row to delete the records. Let's switch back to my coding part. We'll add the checkbox control. After that, we'll write the functionality to delete the record. I'm back to the coding part in the header section of the table in th. which is empty after that in this td I am adding input type is equals to between single quotes checkbox name is equals to checkbox array value between double quotes dot dollar row the column name I'm adding the ID value I'm closing this tree I'm closing this tree I'm adding new tree for this column. Let's save this file. We'll check the input checkbox control is added to this table or not. Just for the time consuming, I have not sure to upload the file into my remote database. I'm reloading the page. See here we got the checkbox control. 
Now we'll add the button control below the table and we'll add the functionality to delete the records. Again I'm back to the coding part. Above the form closing tag, I'm adding input type is equals to submit button name is equals to delete id is equals to delete and value is equals to delete records let's save the file now we'll create a new php page in that we'll write the delete functionality I'm writing the code to delete the records php I'm copying this code up to here if is set dollar underscore post between single quotes I'm adding the button control name I'm creating another variable for the checkbox chk array is equals to dollar underscore post between single quotes I'm adding the checkbox name array for each this variable as dollar id my sqli underscore query method takes two parameters one is this one connection variable the other one is the delete statement delete from EMP where ID is equals to dot this variable after deleting the record I want to relook at the page the multiple deleted records at PHP so header location semicolon after that sqli underscore close method which takes this connection variable let's save this file record deleted dot php copy this save this file and I'm adding this page in the form tag here action is equals to this one let's save those files now it's time to check the final results whether the selected checkbox results has been deleted or not from the table I'm reloading the browser Here we got a button control delete records now I want to delete the Chris employee name before deleting the record let's check in my table also the Chris is here I'm deleting the record see here the Chris record has been deleted let's check in my table also I'm browsing the table again see the Chris has gone now we'll check multiple records deleted I want to delete Jack and Sam delete records both are gone go to my table I'm browsing again this table see 
that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos